Hi, I'm Meta from Moxa, here to demonstrate the MGate MB3180, an ultra-compact, easy-to-use Modbus gateway. Integrating legacy devices into your control network can be a challenge due to the protocols involved. Here, we have a PC running the SCADA system, and we have a VFD, which is powering a motor down here. In order to connect this VFD to the control network, we have to convert Modbus RTU protocol, which the VFD uses, to Modbus TCP protocol, which the SCADA system uses. I'm going to show you how you can set up this protocol conversion with the MGate MB3180 in less than 60 seconds. This is Moxa's MGate manager, which will help us search for and configure the gateway. You could also use the gateway's web console if you wanted. First, we'll click the search button, pick a search option, and mGate Manager will find our gateway and it will show up in the window. Next, select a device, click the configuration button, and enter the password for your gateway. This will take us to the configuration page. Here, we have mode selection for your gateway. You can use the diagrams to determine which mode best fits your scenario. In most cases, Modbus RTU devices will use RTU slave mode. Click on the Network tab to assign an IP address and netmask for the gateway. If you're still using the default password for the gateway, you can change its password here. In the Serial tab, you can adjust the serial parameters to match settings needed by your Modbus slave device, such as the baud rate or what kind of interface to use. Now we can just click OK, and we're done. Now. When we turn the knob on the VFD to change the speed of the motor, we can monitor this change in the SCADA system. To learn more about Moxa's industrial protocol gateways, click on the link on your screen, and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with the latest from Moxa.